You know, you gotta look on the bright side with this self-quarantining stuff. With all this time cooped up in my house, I'm getting plenty of time to catch up on the backlog of CDs I've recently gotten that I haven't listened to. So, hey, there's that, right? Greetings, one and all, and welcome to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to switch it up with my opening gestures, you know, this greetings, one and all, and greetings, one and all, is just getting old. You know, i, I got to find new things. Uh, throw some ideas my way if you have any. But anyway, yes, uh, today is my monthly playlist video. I thought I'd bring that to you uh, since I haven't done one yet for March, and March is uh, coming down to the last couple of days. Uh, and I'm going to switch it up just a little bit with playlist. Um, it occurred to me a couple of days ago that I can always, you know, with such a basic formula for this video, I can always, you know, throw a couple things in and it won't really not make sense, you know. So uh, I decided to just, uh, before I go into the uh, stuff that I've listened to just for fun over the past month, which is the crux of my playlist feature, I thought I would use this uh, opening uh, few minutes to just discuss any other miscellaneous things that might be on my mind, uh, kind of like I used to do with my channel chatter videos, which were very infrequent and very irregular. And, you know, again, I don't know if I'm going to do this at the opening of every playlist video, because some months I will fully expect that I won't have anything to talk about. But just, you know, anything music-related or perhaps otherwise that is on my mind. And uh, for this month, uh, what has been on my mind is the passing of a couple of music icons uh, in recent days. Uh, one of them actually just recently happened. That was uh, Joe Diffie. Uh, just passed away, what was it, yesterday? Day before, uh, of complications from coronavirus, unfortunately. Uh, yes, I, and uh, sad to say, I don't think that's going to be the uh, last of the music celebrities who uh, will succumb to that unfortunate uh, disease that's going around right now. Uh, but the other one, the much more prominent one, uh, and they're both actually both country musicians, and country is not my favorite genre, but uh, Joe Diffie I was not very familiar with uh, at all. I, in fact, I couldn't name any of his songs off the top of my head. Uh, but the other one is a far more notable figure. Um, no matter how much or how little you like country music, you cannot uh, overstate this guy's contribution to the world of music in general. He had lots of crossover hits into the pop realm, and I'm talking about Kenny Rogers. We lost him last week, I believe it was. Um, yeah, just a, a major, major music star, as you can see here. I've got his 42 Ultimate Hits uh, double-disc CD collection, and yes, he, he just had so many great, great uh, hits. Uh, one of his very first was actually uh, under the band name Kenny Rogers and the First Edition, or they may have just been called the First Edition. Just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. It's just it's one of my favorites, and my my sister actually turned me onto that one. That's a, a story that I'll uh, come into for a, a different time. But yeah, I mean you know the Gambler, obviously uh, Ruby, don't take your love to town, Lucille. You could go on for an hour naming the hits that this guy had. It's just uh, yeah, was very very sad to see him uh, pass away. And uh, so, yeah, and that's really it with the miscellaneous liner notes, I guess you could call this. That's what I was kind of toying with calling this feature anyway, my playlist feature. I was going to call it liner notes, but I don't know. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on to uh, the main attraction, the main event for playlist, which is the stuff I've listened to over the past month just for fun, not in relation to any of my other YouTube uh, features or videos. The, the first, my January playlist was uh, nothing but CDs. My February pl playlist actually was nothing but vinyl. So uh, we're going back to CDs for this month. Uh, yeah, I honestly, I have, uh, have a sub streaming subscription and I have not listened to much streaming. I don't know why. Uh, and especially, you know, now I've got the time to sit at home on my duff at my computer and no better time to start streaming more, right? I actually do have a couple of uh, albums I want to check out thanks to my YouTube community friends, uh, many of them uh, reviewing a couple of albums lately that I really want to get in, check out and, and listen, see if I like them. Uh, Dua Lipa and The Weeknd, uh, for those of you who would like specifics. But anyway, uh, enough stalling. Let's go on to the CDs that I have listened to over the past month. A couple of these were uh, actually free acquisitions off the freebie shelf at House of Records. Just, yeah, about a week, week and a half before they closed up for the pub to the public, I found a, huge, a slew of uh, really nice uh, free CDs on the freebie shelf. I was... I'm so uh, amazed and humbled and blessed that I am actually 
able to have been able to find so many good treasures lately that way without it costing me a freaking dime so uh anyway uh willie nelson um what a wonderful world this is one of his uh collections of standards that he did back in this was 88 i think it was 1988 a great uh great album uh, Spanish Eyes with Julio Iglesias is uh, the first track on here. That was really good. And uh, Accentuate the Positive is one of my favorite old standards from the, was it, 30s or 40s. Uh, Some Enchanted Evening, Moon River, What a Wonderful World. I mean, this is just, it, it, go, it ranks right up there with his classic album Stardust, in my opinion. It's just a great, great collection of old classic tunes. And then another one that was in the Debt Freebie stack is amazing. And there were actually two albums by Paul Simon in that stack. Uh, this is the only one I've listened to so far. So far, You're the One. This was from uh, 2000. Yeah. And uh, very good. I'm not a huge Paul Simon fan, but I like his, I've obviously like his singles. And of course, the, the album Graceland is an absolute classic for any genre of music. Uh, and this one, this one's good too. I there's just something about I like about his style. And this album actually does have a lot of world music rhythms like he did in Graceland. So this kind of follows in the footsteps of Graceland, I guess you'd say. Good album. Really, really good. I'm glad I picked it up. And uh, another one. This might be the last... Oh, no. Not the last one, but another one I got out of the freebie stack. Eric Clapton. I mean, come on. This is a, this is a great selection of, of albums. And this is the album From the Cradle. And this is, uh, you just saw, I did uh, an Eric Clapton song in my Backtracks uh, spotlight. That one was not all that great, but this one is, this one was much better. It, this is, goes back to his, you know, the, the classic blues sound. Uh, and, and again, blues, like country, is not one of my favorite genres, but uh, at least in terms of traditional blues. But uh, hey, you can't go wrong with Clapton, in my opinion. Like I said, with his album Behind the Sun on Backtracks, even a, a lousy Eric Clapton album is a, is a good album and and this one actually is a good eric clapton album so it's even better so yeah that was a good one and this artist i have talked about i at least i think i've talked about him on my channel recently i've talked to, about him with a, a friend or two not a surf and this one i actually did pay for i paid one dollar no no 250 i think it was so yeah big spender right but yeah this was their first album uh high low and this is their fourth yeah, their fourth CD, fifth uh, album in total. I've got one on vinyl, their most recent one uh, from this year. So yeah, I'm just I'm getting to like this band more and more the more I hear from them. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, good. Their their first album is great, and the song "Popular" is their the popular the popular single off that album. So yeah, check them out. This other band has kind of gotten. Um, they were modestly popular in their day, but they've kind of uh, fallen by the wayside in the years since. Nobody ever really talks about them much anymore. It's a band called Hooverphonic, and uh, this is their sophomore album, I believe, uh, Blue Wonder Power Milk. And these guys are kind of like a, uh, I guess they're pretty close to Chill Hop, you know, before Chill Hop became Chill Hop. That's basically what uh, Hooverphonic specialized in. And I actually picked up uh, this album and uh, their debut album both for a dollar a piece at uh, epic seconds a store in downtown eugene so yeah very good stuff i had not really appreciated appreciated them much until just recently so good stuff if you want stuff that's just kind of uh, ambient sort of well no they have more more beat you know a more of a substantial beat than ambient music but yeah if you like chill hop something with a little bit more of a beat to it check out hoover phonic you can't go wrong with them and then this next one, uh, this is another band that I'm pretty sure I've talked about on my channel before. Uh, I was uh, into them somewhat, not to the degree that I'm into them now, but way back when I used to buy my music on cassettes. That's how long ago this was, you know, the, the early 90s. I was into them, got their first few albums, their cassettes disappeared, or I, you know, put them in Goodwill or sold them or whatever, long, long time ago. But yeah, just in the last couple of years, as I said, I've really gotten back into them again. And uh, they are called Bela Fleck and the Flecktones. Uh, this is it's basically what i call bluegrass which is uh, bluegrass inflected jazz so you know think contemporary jazz but with a banjo thrown in that's basically what these guys are a lot of fun these guys are just so much fun to listen to a little bit of whimsy thrown into their music is and uh, one of the cool things about this one was uh the well the first track i mean after there is an intro track so in technically it's the second track is a version of hoedown which is from uh aaron copeland's uh uh, symphonic suite rodeo uh, so a, a classical composition translated to contemporary jazz with uh, bluegrass inflection with a banjo thrown in so that, that's that that kind of tells you listen to that track and that will give you an idea of how 
inventive and whimsical and fun Bela Fleck and the Flectones are. Uh, yeah, Bela Fleck has gone on to a solo career. I don't think the Flectones are, uh, exist anymore, really, but uh, yeah, this is their fourth or fifth album I have, uh, and you know, their fifth album in general, and I have all, all of their albums up to this one. Outbound is the name of this one, so yeah. Uh, this next one is Straight Ahead Jazz, and this one also was in the freebies section. And I, I'm telling you, I just I lucked out to a degree I couldn't imagine lucking out on with that last batch of freebies that I got. Uh, this is uh, Ahmad Jamal. This is an artist that I had never actually checked out before. And his uh, jazz piano, very good stuff. This is his album Digital Works. And yeah, and it has a, um, a rendition of the theme from M.A.S.H., which was a, it's a very interesting take on it and yeah just very chill it's it's somewhat improvish but not quite as you know not as much improv as would turn me off uh, i've mentioned before that i'm not much into the freeform or improv jazz but this stuff is uh it's good it appealed to me i, I enjoyed it so yeah my first exposure to ahmad jamal uh turned out pretty good so yeah i like that one and then on to a uh, more well-known artist and again one of the freebies uh, this, yeah, just... I, I'm speechless as to how much I lucked out. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel, there's Concert in Central Park. This was one of the freebies that I got. I mean, the CD's a little bit scratched up, but still. Uh, you know, and how can you not like Simon and Garfunkel, even just a little bit? Uh, but yeah, this was just a, a, a classic. Their concert from 1981, yeah, September 19th, 1981, in Central Park, New York. Good, uh, good stuff. And, uh... You can't say much more about that. It's just a, it's a classic live album, just fantastic. And then uh, back onto the jazz bandwagon. Yeah, jazz and big band is coming up next here. Um, this was one that I picked up. I think this was uh, one that I paid for. It was either either a dollar or two fifty. I can't remember what how much. But yeah, found a lot of inexpensive CDs at Epic Seconds lately. Uh, Dave Grusin and his brother Don Grusin. Uh, they're both uh, jazz artists. They usually record separately, but on this album, uh, Sticks and Stones, they recorded together. Good stuff. Uh, lots of uh, mainly contemporary jazz, and uh, yeah, lots of uh, f some fun songs on here. They they take a little bit of a uh, a little bit of an uh, ethnic or music uh, world music twist on this album as opposed to the regular uh, regular contemporary jazz stuff that they usually do. So yeah, uh, interesting listen. I enjoyed that one. And then uh, this one was I think I paid four dollars for this one. It's a two CD set. And uh, this this guy's a classic. Uh, you've probably I'm sure you've heard of him. If you haven't, then what rock have you been living under? Benny Goodman, a a classic uh, 30s and 40s jazz uh, composer, jazz artist, and band leader. Uh, great great stuff on here. And uh, this is yeah this is one of the one of the Sony Essential uh, library. And it's uh, two discs, and each one is divided into two sections. So in a way, you get four albums, I guess you'd say, in one. So yeah. Lots of stuff, and you know, one of these sections is live recordings uh, in concert, and uh, yeah, so good stuff. Uh, I've I've always appreciated. He's got uh, some. Uh, the King Porter Stomp was a classic uh, song of his. There's, there's just so much good stuff on here. You you can't really pin it down to a couple of uh, classics. I mean, he's got so many classics under his belt, or well, had. He's not around anymore, obviously. So, but yeah, uh, Benny Goodman. If you're thinking about uh, investigating big band or um, you know, the 30s, 40s uh, jazz type of stuff, big band jazz, check out Benny Goodman. He's one of the uh, big names up there to check out. And speaking of big band and jazz stuff, another artist that I had never checked out before, Artie Shaw. Uh, and this this is good stuff. It's it's kind of kind of the same sort of stuff as Benny Goodman. Good, you know, big band stuff. And, uh, yeah. Crazy Cat is the tr <laughs> first track on here. Uh, they Can't Take That Away From Me, that's a, a classic standard. Uh, I get a kick out of you. That's a Cole Porter song, I believe. But yeah, lots of uh, fun stuff on here. You know, I, I I like to listen to. I try to listen to as much of a variety of stuff as I can, as you can kind of see by this uh, stack of tunes here. And yeah, I am just so amazed at the uh, the freebies that I've been able to find lately. It's just uh, I'm just hoping that the stores uh, in the area survive the uh, COVID-19 closures and the social distancing once that stuff lifts and we're able to go into stores again. Hopefully all the stores in my area will survive, and if you have any music stores near you, hopefully they will survive as well. Uh, and check out, if, if you are in the financial position to do so, check out and see if your local stores, if you have any, will uh, 
uh, take orders over the phone or by internet if they have a website and mail the stuff to you because that's a way to keep them afloat during this crisis because they are hurting all the stores are hurting uh, you know you can get food delivered to you or, or uh, you know pick up or take out for delivery and at the restaurants so you can you're able to support the restaurants through this so see if you can support your record stores too because they can really really use your business and so just like that my playlist video for the month of March is done it's in the books uh, this video goes by way too fast doesn't it but anyway yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it uh, suggestions questions constructive criticisms lay them on me down in the comment section below also scroll down to the description for the link to my Twitter feed and links to my favorite fellow youtubers who are all worth checking out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay healthy and safe out there, everyone. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.